reviewing the Ebbing Wonder Lace Adhesive Spray. First of all, can we just talk about you ladies that sleep with your wig on? <coughs> High five. Hi, fight. I literally, guys, only kept this wig on because for the sake of this, like the review, this is three days in and I'm about to snatch this wig off, but I knew I had to come on here and do the review first. Um, so I'd been hearing so many great things about the Ebbing. Actually, to be honest, it was kind of mixed reviews, if I'm completely honest. Like, if you get, like, the whole concept is that it's an adhesive in the form of a spray, right? Um, and for me, that was like, oh yes, that's great because that's a little bit like what I'm already doing in terms of spraying the gots to be in the morning and holding down my wig. So um, for me, it sounded like, yeah, genius. So I did purchase this off of Amazon. I got this for, I believe it might have been 10 99 i'm gonna put the price down at the bottom of the screen for you all of the information for where i got this ebbing spray on amazon will be in the description box below i was super excited to try this spray as much as i'm not the kind of girl that likes to sleep with her wig on i knew that this was something i had to try i know that it's a pretty big deal in the us um, um but i wasn't sure if the uk girls were like familiar but yeah i really wanted to try it i decided to get the extreme firm hold which is supreme because why not why not just go all in i'm not sure if there's one i mean can you get more extreme than extreme i don't know i i honestly don't know if this is just a batch, like a bad batch thing for people who sell on Amazon or if the brand really be short changing people like this in real life. Like I'm just going to keep it 100 because the first thing I noticed when I got this is the can's half empty, right? And I'm not going to lie to you either, right? The comments, people were very clear in the comments that when you buy this, it's half empty empty and uh, to be honest i think that's the only reason why people were even questioning the price because the concept is obviously genius but it's just the fact that you're getting hot the cans half full like why are you charging people full price for half can because i bought it for the sake of a review I just thought like, you know, if I get it and it happens to be half empty, then I'm just going to tell the girls when I purchased it, it was half empty, right? So that's the first thing, just to throw it out there, disclaimer, if you buy this off Amazon, there is, you may potentially get a half empty can. If um, anybody who's watching this video now has tried the Ebbing Lace Spray and bought it off of maybe another seller to the one that I mentioned down below in the description box or from a local beauty supply and you've noticed that you only get half in the can, comment down below for the girls in the back, okay? The next thing I noticed was how the product like comes out of the can. Girl. This is way messier than got to be. I didn't think anything could get messier than got to be, but when you think about it, it actually makes sense that it would be messy. Not only is it runnier, it's more like you spray and the thing just, it, first of all, it blasts you, then it just runs down your face. Okay, so it's very difficult to control, but also you gotta remember, this ain't got to be, this is glue. This is actually glue. So when it comes to the, the process of trying to keep things neat and tidy, that just goes out of the window with this. I ain't gonna lie to you. It actually tells you at the back how to apply this adhesive spray, by the way. So you would apply three layers, right? And what I learned by the third layer <laughs> was that you need to kind of like brace yourself, spray and move at the same time there's none of this like little blast to kind of because i feel like i can get away with that with got to be i'm very i'm able to get very precise with the got to be um spray but with this it comes out in such a heavy blast that you actually have to spray and move the same time so that's what i do i don't know anybody else's technique but that's what i had to learn when i was using this So when I was doing the three layers, right, I noticed um, by, I noticed like from the first layer that it dries 
really quickly and it's really weird because you're thinking that you because you're looking at it and it still is wet you're like oh it's you know you you, you presume that it might be t it might take longer to dry and then the next thing you know you touch it and it's completely dry so i noticed that the time in which you have for this product to be tacky is far less than what i get with got to be and i know this isn't supposed to be a comparison video because they're actually two different formulas one's an adhesive one's a holding spray but um for reference purposes um for this review video i know that's something that i noticed is that the window of tackiness is way shorter with this product so you've kind of got a spray I wouldn't even say like, I would say maybe even less than 30 seconds, maybe about 15 seconds, then hold your lace down. Like, cause the window of tack is, is just not that large basically, okay? There are a lot of things that can contribute to residue and build up. And we need to take into consideration that if you are using products like base products, if you haven't cleaned the area where you're gonna apply the lace and you've got makeup there, if, you, if you've if you got grease in your hair, do you know what I mean? If you've got other stuff going on before you spray this, it's likely that you're gonna get residue, okay? You're gonna get residue and you're gonna have some buildup. So I feel like when it comes to that, you do have to bear that in mind, but I didn't get any residue or buildup. it does have a really good hold it's definitely one of those that once you allow the lace to melt appropriately make sure that you clean the area just like with any adhesive any kind of oil is going to break it down so make sure the area is clean and dry when you go to spray but this stuff really does hold the lace down it's very effective um and i want to make the point of saying that i really feel like for someone like me this product might be a little bit wasted just because i don't like to sleep with my wigs on however if I had engagements, I would say over like a certain amount of days, a set amount of days, and I didn't want to get up and do what I normally do, which is like apply my wig every morning, we've got to be, then this could come in really handy because this ain't going nowhere like i'm like even this morning i left this wig on just so that i could come to you today after three days i would have done it longer girl but girl i am not like i am not <laughs> the way i'm gonna snatch off this wig when i'm done but see i don't even have that luxury like i know it's gonna be like a whole process to take this off right like i'm gonna have to wet it and use oil and let it sit before i can remove this we've got to be i can wet it down and it be off and sometimes i ain't gonna lie don't try this at home kids but i just rip off the wig right i ain't got time to be waiting for it but with this you don't have that luxury um so yeah i feel like this has a really really good hold it's just a little bit wasted on me because girl needs to take off her wig at night but if you are a lady that likes to wear your wigs or the other example that i just gave you know this could be a really suitable alternative for you i feel like sweat resistancy for every lady every woman every girl that wears wigs is a great concern because you know it's the difference between you looking snatched one moment and then you know your wig your wig just flapping the next like flapping in the wind in an instant but like i normally have this area covered with like my silk headscarf and i make sure that my hair doesn't get wet but i think because you know heat you have to remember that the heat is released through your head so where you're you know you're in a hot shower it's direct heat your body's getting rid of the heat and so you're gonna sweat through your head and in those areas so it's day number three um in this wig we're six showers down and this is a really good product this really held up really really well i noticed that the lace itself didn't 
hadn't moved after the shower it was still very much on there it's still very much on here now just remember that there's body oils as well as the products that we use that can really con contribute to whether or not something can be resistant to resistant to sweat but in terms of on like a base level this is very much sweat resistant <laughs> thoughts in terms of fast drying non residue and build up 20 times the hold for the lace and sweat resistant yes 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 and yes would i um, be swapping the ebbing adhesive lace lace spray out for the gots to be that i'm used to no and i'll be honest this product is whilst it is very good it's very much wasted on me i just bought this to do the review i will use it for times when i know it's going to be useful like the examples i gave earlier if you're a, a lady that sleeps in your wigs this could be very very useful this might be something that you want to try this does retail at 10 like i believe it's 10 pounds or 10.99 but we can't neglect the fact that you are getting half of the product. That's the only thing that would make me think twice about that. I think they're kind of taking a little bit of the mick there, like, because it's so half empty, guys, that it's not even like, you know when you can feel the amount of a solution in a bottle, like in a, ca a can or a container? It's not even like three quarters of the way. Like, you can feel that this thing, when you get it, it's halfway full. So that's the only reason why I think anybody anybody would question the price of this product because as a whole i feel like the concept is is great adhesive in the form of a spray spray go about your business perfect but the fact that they're not really you know the fact that the the, the container isn't full is something that actually doesn't sit very well with me. With that said, that's going to be the end of the Ebbin Wonder Lace Adhesive Spray. Guys, if you haven't already, give the kid a thumbs up. If for nothing else, then for the fact that I I rode it out for three days in this wig for y'all, okay? Um, make sure that you turn your notifications on. Notification gang also the next video will be a review for the hair that i'm wearing in this video now so make sure you stay tuned for that one if you're not already subscribe for the ride and i will see you in the next one take care bye